Hello trainer, welcome to One Pokey Pack, where we open one pack of Pokemon cards. Because time is warped and space is bendable. Got another another pack of Temporal Forces for Rising Sunday, where we cover IPs from Japan. Here we go. Pokemon is pretty much the biggest IP <laughs> from there since uh, Godzilla. So, that's not going to work. Alright, come on. That is not the part I want to peel. Thank you, thank you. There we go. Oh, well. Let's start in the other way. Uh, just to get it out of the way. Here's the code. Thanks for stopping by. Blue energy. Water energy, whatever. It's blue. Bloody We got Meditite. 70 hit points, fighting type, single fighting for slap 10, two colorless, kick for 30. And that's all you really need. Tertanator, the non-foil version, 120 hit points, fire type, single fire and colorless, spit out shot. This attack does 40 damage to one of your opponent's pinched Pokemon. Don't apply weakness or resistance. Two fire, one colorless for steam, artillery, 100 damage. Oof. Got hoot hoot. Hoot you. Um, seven hit points, colorless. Two colorless, silent wing, 20. Your opponent reveals their hand. If you got something where you can make them discard, cool. Otherwise, that really doesn't do anything. Bedlam. The gauntlet punch Pokemon. Uh, that's an iron ball. Seven hit points. Metal type. Single metal, dig claws for 10. Single metal, two colorless, iron tackle for 50. This Pokemon also does 10 damage to itself. That's not bad. That's that's better than some of them, where it's like, it does 30 damage and 20 to itself. It's like, why? Iron treads. It's from the future. 130 hit points. Metal. Ability, dual core. As long as Pokemon has a future type booster energy capsule attached, it is fighting and metal type. For anything, it's got weakness to fighting. Metal and colorless for wheel pass, 60. Moving energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench potion Pokemon. Oh, that's nice. Buddy, buddy, pump. Puffin. It's an item. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon with seven hit points or less and put them under your bench, then shuffle your deck. Ooh, that's a good one. We got Zeraora. Am I saying that right? Zeraora? 120 hit points, lightning type. Single colorless for shocking knuckle. <clears throat> What's that about that? The matter? <clears throat> 20 damage. Flip a coin, if heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Two electric, one colorless for strong volt, 120, discarded energy from this Pokemon. Yeah, 120, yeah. It's a pretty good take, hit to take. Got Gnome. Just wandering around in the snow. 50 hit points, water type. Single water, powder snow, 10 damage, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. That's pretty good. Latias, the airplane Pokemon, uh, 110 hit points, psychic type, single colorless, allure, draw two cards, as you do, one psychic and one colorless for Laguna Flight, 60 damage, and the rare is Fluttermane, ooh, uh, it is ancient, 90 hit points, psychic type, ability, Midnight Fluttering, as long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, your opponent's active Pokemon has no abilities except for Midnight Fluttering. Uh, three colors for Hex Hurl, 90. Put two damage counters on your opponent's bench Pokemon in any way you like. That's pretty good. I do like that one. Alright. Not much going on in this one, so we're just going to do a quick little rundown and then we'll go about our day. Alright, um, I do like Hex Hurl, so I'd probably do that. Um, 
has no abilities except for Midnight Fluttering. Hmm. Ba basically, if they got an ability, it erases it. So, uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Hex, Hex Hurl is a good thing to have. Uh, that's, that's, yeah, it's, Allure makes it alright. Does 60 damage. Not bad. Not a bad deal. It, is it? Look at the thing. It's already curling. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. See, look at that. Curling. Uh, I would say it's one of my, it, it's definitely in my top five cutest Pokemon pictures. But, um, that's pretty good. You know, just 10 damage and now they're asleep. And then you can switch them out and hit them with something else. Uh, Zero Aura. Oof. That's decent. I will give it that. It is decent. Especially 120 for 3 and then just discard. You can get it back later with something else. Uh, the Poffin's pretty good. 70 hit points or less. Uh, did I have two in this thing? Nice. Basic. Oh, there you go. I got two basics right there. So, well, technically three if you count him, but or them. I don't even know that. Uh, but yeah. That's a pretty good one. That might be the. Uh, this one's pretty nasty. Especially since you could transfer energy. Um, so I do like that one. That's not bad. <clears throat> like I said, it, the, the uh, damage parameter for it is doable. 50 damage, 10 to itself. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. That's fine. That's not as bad. Like I said, it's not as bad as some that do like 50 damage and then 30 to themselves. It's like, why would you do that? And I mean that is, in why would the Pokemon Company do that? Not why would the creatures do that? Anyway. Um... <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's colorless, so you can put it in any deck, and you can just make someone reveal their cards. <sighs> and what you do with that information is entirely up to you. Don't fuck it up, though. <laughs> Don't look at the cards and then completely forget, like, two seconds later, like I've done. It's like, oh, I forgot you had that. Uh, I do like this one. Like I said, 40 damage, and then, like, later on, you can do 100 damage, and then... Be really cool. Just keep them alive long enough. Uh, eh. I mean, it's got pretty high hit points. That's that's its only plus. I mean, the abilities are kind of basic of basic. <clears throat> uh, MVP is obviously going to be the puffin. Bring out two Pokemon quick as you quick as you like, and then. Especially if you got their evolutions in your hand, that makes it a lot easier. So that is uh, temporal forces. Ooh. Oh, sorry, uh, I had to stretch. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. Have a pokeastic day.